happy pride i'm wearing my wearing this very fun have my nails done so yes happy pride everyone <laughs>
sock base, which is 75, 25 uh, superwash merino nylon. So it's a great like workhorse yarn. It takes dye beautifully. Um, and for a shawl, uh, I just think it's like that I wear all the time. It's, and I, that I'm like, you know, wearing around all like a lot in, this, in the winter. It, this is just like a great workhorse yarn and I love it next to skin. It is really soft. So I have this and I've used probably about half of the skein. And so it's gonna be a big shawl, which I am excited about. I haven't knit a sock weight or like a fingering weight yarn um, shawl in a while. I've, I think I've made a few DK ones, so it's gonna be really fun. So I'm loving this colorway too. This was actually over dyed. I had just like a one of a kind that I didn't really like and I over dyed it using these kind of colors. Came out very fiery, um, oranges, kind of burnt, burnt orange, rust, uh, speckles of kind of black, and you have little bits of kind of golden tones in there. Um, so it's a really fun yarn. I, I really like it. This was something I didn't like write down. I just kind of went for it, and I did, and I made two. So perfect for this, um, this shawl. I'm really loving the pattern. Again, it's it's really fun, and I think it's gonna block out really beautifully, and you can kind of see like how it's gonna block out. So definitely a fun one. I've been really enjoying this one, and it is again like a Stephen West pattern is so well written. Like they are everything is written so well that if you just follow it, you're going to get a great end result. Um, I sometimes get so nervous about trying to like follow a pattern, especially if there's a lot of pa like actual pattern that you have to get right. It's not just texture, it's like a pattern. Um, I sometimes get nervous about that because I often like to just kind of knit mindlessly and following a pattern exactly doesn't always like vibe with just like sitting and watching TV and knitting. So his patterns are so easily um, kind of laid out for you that you can do that. You can watch TV, you can kind of knit along and you're gonna get something that's, you're gonna get a great end knit product. So definitely go check out that. Um, I love the different colors people have been using, so that's really fun. And yeah, that's a shawl I'm excited. I haven't knit a shawl in a while, so definitely a great one. And I'm loving the color of yarn. The next thing I am knitting is, again, a work in progress, um, and it is in partnership with Bellish. And if you don't or don't know of Bellish or have never heard of it, it, Bellish is a online, it's like an app. It's a great resource. It's a free knitting pattern generator with over 300,000 different combinations, patterns, all sorts of things. I will definitely link it below where you can um, download the app for free and also like go to their website and check it out because there's a lot of info about it as well. But basically, Bellish is so, it, I truly love it, and I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't actually love it. Um, for someone who is a little, like, is, and I'd consider myself like an intermediate knitter. I've knit for a long time. I'm comfortable following patterns, but I'm not like some expert know-all of, no, all-knowing knitter by any means. Um, but what I really like about it is that someone who isn't a beginner knitter like I am can get out of the pattern, you know, I can like choose a pattern and find it and it's like great, a great resource for me. But I also think it's going to be a great resource for people um, who are beginning, beginning knitter, beginning knitters, also advanced knitters. Like it truly is an awesome uh, app that anyone can use. So basically what you do is you can go onto the app and you can search through all sorts of different types of patterns. You can find like um, long sleeve, you know, crew neck, there's all these different like factors or characteristics that you can choose and you kind of build your own pattern by going through all these different categories you choose kind of like build your own path and it generates the pattern so at the end you can choose like the gate the um, weight of yarn you want you can choose the fit the length the type of like the type of neckline the type of shoulder raglan top up top down like all these different things different types of patterns and it will create a pattern for you based off of all these different factors and then at the end you can purchase yarns that they suggest that would be great for that pattern right from the app so it truly is like so simple if you've never knit a pattern before everything's there it gives you the needles you need it gives you the gauge it gives you the recommends different um, fibers or different types of yarn. It's awesome. 
the way I'm using the Bellish app is I, t well, I knew what I wanted, and so I'm kind of using it more as like, a, um, <clears throat> I'm using it more as like a, a recipe kind of jumping off point. So I knew I wanted a drop shoulder kind of like oversized cropped t-shirt that was really loosely, like the gauge was really loose. So I found a pattern that worked with that. And then I'm kind of modifying like the length and kind of how long to do it. But all of the, the pattern is there. Like I'm following the pattern, but I'm kind of making it my own. So it's a great resource for people that maybe want to play around with like you know, making their own patterns or, or trying to experiment with making something like more tailored to them without having to start from scratch. Cause like making my own pattern is, is not like, that seems very overwhelming. So I've been really loving it. I'm knitting the drop shoulder cropped t-shirt out of a cotton linen. So first, this is where I'm at. Let me show you. This is the front of the sweater. And right now I have the shoulder shaping, which is here. I have, it's bottom up. So I have the ribbing at the bottom and it will go like this. And then on the back, I'm working on the back part of it. So right now this is just the back. And then the, once I'm done with the back, I will connect the shoulders to the back and it will be like, right now it kind of looks like a sweater vest. So it'll be like this. And then I'll have the right here where the sleeves will go and I'll add on the sleeves. So it's like this. I will add on the sleeves, a little length on the sleeves. I'll pick up and do some ribbing around the neckline. And it will be like a really cute, fun, summery sweater. And I love the gauge. So it's very loose and kind of open, perfect for summer, for hot weather. Um, I've never knitted a t-shirt before. I've never knitted a sweater out of, um, so other than wool. So this, I'm using the Knit Picks Kotlin. It is a 70% Tanguy's cotton, 30% linen. It's 246 uh, yards per 100 grams. So it is a true DK weight. And it is very soft. Like I was very surprised at how kind of soft and drapey this yarn is. I think definitely the linen um, adds to that kind of softness because a cotton yarn in my head is like very stiff and kind of hard to work with, but knitting it at this gauge also helps. It's very drapey. You know, it's like very drapey. Once it blocks out, it's going to be so, so beautiful. I'm very excited about this. I'm picturing this with like, like some pants, like some jeans and some cute shoes. Like I just, I have a full look that I want. Um, I'm knitting with light, but in the end, you know, I'm gonna like knit it. And if I like it, I'm gonna keep it this color, but I also wanted the lighter colored um, yarn because I might over dye it if I'm not too happy with the white. Like I love this light, very like summer vibe, but we'll see. I might over dye it if I don't like the way it turns out, but TBD. But yes, I'm loving it. Um, the Bellish app is really awesome because in the app it your, itself, you can it, like you can keep track of where you are in the pattern with um, with like it highlights kind of where you're at, and you can have like a row counter or like stitch counter. So it's super. It just is. It's all in one app. It's so simple. Um, I'll add a little bit of footage of like me using the app in the in here, like when I'm talking about it, so that you can. Um, so you can see what it's like, but definitely go check it out. There will be links in the bio. They have sponsored this project. Um, so full disclosure, they have sponsored this. So I'm being um, paid to talk about it, but I wouldn't have said yes if I didn't you know, like and support um, what it was. So yes, this has been sponsored by Bellish, but I truly do love it. I think it would be super fun um, Again, to use the use it as a starting off point to look at kind of size or, or stitch count or gauge and then take like your own yarns and just make your own color work yoke. Like totally explore with um, st a different stitch pattern or texture. Um, you know, I'm choosing to do something cropped and like with sleeves, but I could totally keep going. I could make it shorter. I could like do no sleeves and just do kind of like a V-neck 
vest look. I mean, that would be really cute too in the summer. So there's all sorts of different options and they are expanding and doing other accessories as well. Um, hats and socks and shawls and things like that. So definitely check them out and it's free. 300,000 different patterns, like that's crazy. So check them out, I've been loving it. And again, I'm using my lovely basket, throwing it in there and I'm so happy about it. So that's kind of what I've been working on. Those both things have been um, taking up most of my time. I kind of have been working more on the sweater because it's fun and it's summer and it's made out of cotton. So I've been liking that. But I also have some things that I've been working on through Pitchfork Fiber that I've been really enjoying. Um, and I'd love to show you that. But I'm gonna say that to the end because some of you don't necessarily wanna see like some of the yarns, but this will be a sneak peek. Actually, should I show you now? I'll show you now. Okay, let me just show you a few little sneak peeks of an upcoming colorway, a few upcoming colorways that I will be doing on my next drop. So... Okay, I am coming out with a new collection. <clears throat> I'm not sure necessarily when yet. Hopefully, it will, it will be before the end of June, but I'm really loving the kind of vibe I'm going for. Um, and I've picked two colors out of the seven that I really like. And I'll show you them now. This is a sneak peek. I'm not gonna give you any more info except for the colors, but here's two of them. Look how fun these are. This is a neon pink. Like literally, it's like making my face a shadow because this is so bright. This is so bright and it is so fun. I'm thinking accessories, hats, gloves, hand warmers, like this would be so fun. I'm also thinking a sweater. Like uh, neon pink is one of my favorite colors. Neon pink and neon orange like together, very Dunkin' Donuts vibes. I love it. Like I truly love that color combo and I want a sweater with either one a full neon pink sweater with orange color work, that'd be iconic, or the vice versa, or like all orange with neon pink color work. I think it'd be so fun. So this is one of the colors. This will be available um, in my next collection. So there will be five other colors between these two. And this is another one. Super fun. There's lots of colors. It's very like it just is, it's, it's very citrusy with having a neutral base. So the base is the is more of a cream, and then there's like pops of kind of color in it. It really, like if you get in there, there's just so many colors, so much going on, and I think this would be really fun. This either would be really fun as like a dark color sweater, and this is the color work. I think that'd be really fun to play around with a, like a variegated color work or vice versa, having a solid dark color be the, or or even like the pink, even this being color work to like a sweater out of this, how iconic. I mean, seriously, how pretty. But stay tuned, follow me on Instagram and like keep a lookout on my um, Etsy. I will be selling these along with some other um, colors soon. That was just like a little sneak peek. There will be um, more info coming, so that's really exciting. I don't necessarily have all the details yet. I am working on it still, so stay tuned. Okay, there's not a ton of knitting, but I did wanna just like give you a little bit of a heads up where I'm at. Last time we spoke, I was unemployed. I was kind of working pitchfork fibers for fun and to you know pick up a, a little bit of cash here and there. And to all of you who have supported pitchfork fiber over the last six months, start, I started at the very end of uh, January. Thank you so much. Truly, it means so much. The amount of support, the amount of positive feedback when I drop something new or when I um, start, you know, it's, it's, it's a vulnerable thing. Putting out something that I like and hoping other people like it too, it's like kind of scary. And so when I do receive positive feedback or feedback in general, it's very, it's so welcomed. And I, I love seeing how excited you all get about the things that excite me too. So. Thank you again to everyone who supports Pitchfork Fiber because it really does affect me and support me. So thank you. Just wanted to say that because it really, I do truly mean it. Um, 
but I have, I am now an employed person. I have a job now. <laughs> Very excited. I am truly blessed because these times have been rough. It is hard to find a job. COVID has very much impacted so many people and it, it impacted me greatly. So I'm very excited to have a new job. Um, I am working within nonprofits still. So I've, I've found something that aligns very closely with what I was doing at my last job and kind of what I'm, I'm doing now definitely is exciting. So, okay. So I feel like we're just here chatting now because I'm like, the knit, we've talked about knitting. We've talked about things, um, you know, I'm employed. The summer's here, but the vaccine is like totally a positive thing. People are feeling a little like, like they're able to get back to normal a lot more, which is so big. I was talking about this earlier um, or like later that in the past that in Chicago, it's huge. Like the summer is huge. Summertime in Chicago is why people endure eight months of awful weather and cold and dreary and nasty for those four months because summer in Chicago is lively. It's culture just seems to like blow out of every, every corner of every neighborhood. There's street fests. There's all the like, you can eat outside. There's just so, there's so much like life in Chicago in the summer, which is so fun. And last summer, none of that happened because of, of course, a pandemic, but there are sprinkles of exciting light that is popping out. Things are opening up. People feel safe enough to do so. Um, that's the big thing. It's like, okay, we can open up, but it it is safer to do things now. It is safer to go in places, especially um, now that people are being vaccinated. So be vaccinated people. Um, but I'm really excited because also here in Chicago, like just hanging out outside on a, in a park is, ideal in the summer. It is beautiful. Everyone's around, like you can plop down and be there for a long time. You can bring food. It's just the energy and excitement of Chicago blossoms in the summer. So I'm excited because I have a lot of people in Chicago that I'm friends with via Instagram that are also fellow knitters that I, I meet people all the time from the Chicago area that are like, Hey, they tell me where they live or like whatever and they are blocks away from me i mean truly like a 10 minute walk and i've not met any of these people and that's what's so crazy um the timing of the pandemic and everything but i would love to set up a time and tell please like comment below dm me whatever if this is something you'd be interested in having like a monthly knit or I don't know, maybe more. I mean, a month monthly probably would be better for me just because I'm like truly everything's crazy right now with my schedule, but a little meetup where we can like bring some food and like shit, you know, potluck style, bring some food and we all can take a little bit. So we're not, you know, touching everyone's food, but like we can share, we can chat, we can knit like, um, Caleb from drowning Caleb and Brian, Caleb is from Drowning in Yarn, but Brian is his partner. They lived like maybe half a mile away from me at my old apartment, like may maybe less than like blocks. And we, I've yet to meet him. It's so weird. We have communicated for like over a year on Instagram and whatever. Um, and we've never met in person, which is so weird. Cause I've like gone to drop things, something off outside of his apartment. Um, but never met him. So I'm excited to like meet you all. So if you are in the Chicago area and would be down for like a sit in the park one Sunday or Saturday or something and like just chat and bring a blanket or a quilt and like, let's just pick a spot. Let me know. Cause I'm down. I'm, I will do it at some point. I probably will just like drop an address and people can come hang out. But if we want to make it a little bit more of like a scheduled like thing, please let me know. I want to do that because I want the knitting community here in Chicago is very, is very vibrant. There's so many different pockets of different people because Chicago is big. There are knitting shops in lots of different neighborhoods. And in Chicago, you kind of are like your neighborhood becomes kind of where you do everything because it's so big and because there's so much like you really can kind of like stay in your own bubble in a way. And it's always fun to kind of go
go other, you know, explore other places. And so I know for me, I really want to um, get to meet new people and get to kind of just like hang out and um, make new friends. Cause that's, I've every year, like every beginning of the year, that is a goal of mine, make new friends um, because that's what's so fun about life is meeting new people. Um, so yeah, let me know down below if that's something you'd be into. But to recap real quickly, this bag is, this basket is awesome. So if you find any fair trade bags um, from, this was a fair trade from Africa. I'm not necessarily sure what country, um, but it was fair trade. And I bought this at a St. Louis market. It fits everything and I love it. Get you get yourself a basket that can fit everything in it that also adds to the decor of your home because that is the thing. It looks so cute and it is functional. That's one. Check out the Lightning Thunderbolts and Lightning Shawl by Stephen West. He also has dropped a lot of other um, shawls and patterns lately, so check that out. Um, the Bellish app, third. The Bellish app is really awesome. It's free and even if you're not gonna like knit all the patterns that you find or make or whatever, like check it out because it is truly free. And it, I truly, I would not say this if I didn't mean it, but it is a very cool app and it is a great resource for all different skill levels. Fourth, please um, be on the lookout for this upcoming collection. Here are two colorways, just a sneak peek. And I will be having five more dropping along. So if you um, follow me on Instagram at Pitchfork Fiber, you can stay on top of like when I post. Again, everything's been crazy, but I will be posting um, updates soon for where and when you can check, um, get the upcoming collection because it's going to be really fun. I promise you it's like, in my mind, a summer collection with this theme is going to be such a vibe and I'm very excited and I hope you all are too because I'm truly very excited about it. Fifth, check out Knits Plus Knots Tahoe because they will be having and carrying my new colorways of this next collection in July for a pop-up shop. So check them out. Um, I will leave their info down below so you can check them out. And sixth, but not last, this is definitely not last. It is probably the most important. Happy Pride. Everyone, happy Pride. Love is love. Everyone is accepted and we are all excited to celebrate you all because that is what makes living so exciting. It's diversity and inclusion and all of the above. So happy Pride. I'm wearing my, wearing this. Very fun. Have my nails done. So yes, happy Pride, everyone. Um, I'm very excited that well, here in Chicago, Pride is canceled for now, but in later, it is going to happen later. So I'm just excited. Happy Pride, everyone. Um, and la and seventh, which is last in this list that I've created, have a great summer. I will see you be before then, but enjoy it while it lasts, wherever you are. Get outside, enjoy the beautiful air, and happy knitting because... I seem to always love knitting so much in the summer, which is funny because like, I don't know. I'm like so excited about knitting for the winter in the summer, if that makes sense. So enjoy your knitting, happy making. Thank you again for all the support you've shown Pitchfork Fiber over the last few months. It truly means so much. And I hope you enjoy knitting whatever you are working on currently. And yes, please hit me up on DMs of things you want to see in the future. And yes. Thank you again. I will see you next time. Happy making. Bye. Bye.